Hello everybody, this is the continuation of the exercise how to create gravity, so this is how to create gravity 2. In this exercise we are going to add variable speed, okay, so far we've got this starting point, okay, we've got the gravity, we may jump, we may move, but once we move, the right and left movement is fixed, okay, we're going to chain it. So we need to add a variable. We need a we add a variable called speed. And whatever we are gonna do, it's here change instead of move ten steps. We are gonna change speed by minus 0 0.3 as you can realize when we press the left arrow speed change here but anything happens why not because we need here we need uh, 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 change here change x not by then by Speed by speed. Okay, got it now. It's happening. Okay, so we're gonna stop it. We are gonna repeat same operation when we press right arrow. We're gonna change speed by zero point three. Okay. It's working. Perfect. So our game, our new game is created. Yep. What else could we add? We may add that automatically it reduces the speed because anyways once we press once we start to move to one direction it's really tough to change to to change the direction or to stop speed do you see how hard it is how are you gonna change it let's do it uh, stop right there okay we're gonna add here one event if let's use an operator if speed it's zero we're gonna change speed by zero we don't want it to move on the other hand if speed is bigger than zero we're gonna change Speed by minus zero point one. Okay, Psst. and if speed is smaller than zero we're gonna change speed by zero point one okay so let's 
put our sprite in the center there it is zero and zero yeah this is working right now once we move to the right side it stops automatically taste it in your computer we can jump we might move but it's automatically stop okay I think that way is much better much more realistic okay so leave me your comment ask me any questions you've got and let's keep coding